Good morning, BBE. Coming up on this week's Jaguar Week in Review, we'll take a look at the science trip to Costa Rica several students attended. Then we'll take a peek at our new program called Connect Time. And finally, we'll dive into how different age students are being mixed into the same classes. This week's Jaguar Week in Review starts now. <laughs> Announcements for today. Are you a big volunteer? Local students who have done significant community service over their high school years are eligible for the Prudential Spirit of the Community Award. Any students in grades 5 through 12 interested in applying, please see Mr. Walsh immediately for the application. The final program application is due by November 5th. Online applications can be found at spirit.prudential.com. FFA members who would like to compete at the University of Minnesota Invite should sign up with Mr. Rogers as soon as possible. The date is Wednesday, October 9th, and the contests are dairy, livestock, poultry, soils, and horse. Activities for today. Junior high volleyball match versus KMS at KMS High School at 4.30. Dismiss 310, depart 320. Varsity football game versus Parker's Prairie at Parker's Prairie High School at 7 o'clock. Good luck, Jags. Students at BBE don't do a whole lot of traveling until now. Every two years, science teacher Miss Kushel takes a group of students to Costa Rica to explore and experience the rainforest. Once every two years, the upcoming juniors and seniors go on a once-in-a-lifetime trip to Costa Rica. The trip is led by a science teacher, Aaron Kushel. For me, um, I really enjoy like the whitewater rafting and probably zip lining is probably my, my two favorites. Students were in Costa Rica for 10 days and had activities planned every day. Students liked each of the activities, but there were clearly some favorites. My favorite thing would probably be, I don't know, I kind of like seeing all the different, like when we went to the rainforest, like we were in a town above the clouds, and that was really cool. Like we got to go in the rainforest kind of, and just got to see that. And then we went up like this really big thing, that sky thing that you just look out and it was nice. Sky. In Costa Rica, there are way more plants and animals that we don't see up here. So when we're down there, we see a lot of different animals and plants. Uh, it's a science-based trip, and so there's a variety of different animals we'll see. Like we go on a crocodile airport ride. Um, we see a lot of insects. We see a lot of cool birds. Um, there's there's a lot of different forests, uh, different environments we go into, whether it's the ocean or different types of rainforest. Um, but there's a wide variety of um, animals and plants that we see. The students kept on moving from hotel to hotel. All of them were nice, but ones were much fancier than the others. But no matter where they were, everyone seemed to enjoy the food. But I have to say the third one was my favorite, just because of the food. It was, was American. <laughs> it was American food. For many of the students, it was a long trip, but memorable. It was amazing. It's, it's so fun to watch students experience something so new. Um, whether it's going through the airport for the first time or um, seeing different environments, different animals, um, ex experiencing new foods. Uh, it's, it's different every time and it's, it's fun to see that take place and just experiencing a new culture. There's a lot of fun things to see that the kids get to experience. 10 out of 10 would recommend on Yelp. Definitely. <laughs> definitely, it was definitely worth, it was so fun. Yeah, it was awesome. If you're interested in going to Costa Rica, Ms. Kushel has already had informational meetings for the trip in 2021. It's not too late to sign up. The BBE High School has made a ton of new changes this year. One of these changes is a new program called Connect Time. Reporter Destiny Hopfer is going to give us a closer look at this new program. During the school day, Students are hard at work in their studies and need a break from their daily routine, but also need time to get some homework done. I like the connect times because it gives me a like a time that I can like work on homework without having to actually take a study hall. It kind of lightens the load for when I have to do it, like either after practice or after work or a game or something. Connect time can also be used as another class. I think like when the teachers have like other things that they have, like one time Zer had a snake, he played snake videos and talked about someone in Minnesota that like takes care of snakes. I think it was like informational and good and fun to learn about. Sometimes even teachers use this extra time to help students with questions. I think connect time was put into our schedule 
to help give kids a chance to broaden their interests and to also have some time to catch up on some areas of study that they needed a little extra time in with the teacher who teaches it. Connect time can also keep kids moving during the day. Some kids who need a little more movement time, if they get to go to the gym, it helps them be able to kind of settle down for the rest of the day. It also helps students get their projects done and breaks up the day. I would like to add that this little um, interview and the TV style you guys are doing is one of my favorite parts of the news is I get to see what else is going on and the wonderful interviewing skills that you guys have. And I think that's kind of like a connect piece. You're getting to work on something that you're really good at and interested in. Reporting for Jaguar Week in Review, I'm Destiny Hopfer. Connect time looks to be very useful for BBE students. Thanks for that, Destiny. Students this year are spending more hours with students of different ages. I've looked more into this and how it will affect us this year. In the past, students have had mixed classes with things like band and choir. But with the new year, students have the majority of their classes with students of different ages. Um, having been a principal in a small school and in a large school, I can tell you that I learned how I did things wrong previously, and that was that uh, um, we could never get kids into CAD, for instance. We could never get kids into carpentry because it just, no matter where we offered it, it was only going to be available to, let's say, the sophomores or only available to the juniors. So we basically had no choice, very few choices in the schools. Mixed classes can help different age students that are at different mental stages. I like them because it's a different atmosphere for us all to be around. Yeah, it's a whole new experience. I mean, getting to know one another from younger grades, stuff like that, it's, it's fine with me. <laughs> Mixed classes can make learning easier due to the variety of knowledge. Uh, music, world language, four core subjects, and health and fire. You don't really have any choices all the way through your freshman and sophomore year other than are you going to be in band or not? And if you're not in band, you'd have choices. And if you're not going to take world language, you have choices. So um, the, the school schedule itself precludes kids from taking anything that might be of interest. Mixed classes can help kids start their future careers at a younger age. The difference is taking, instead of taking all your requirements and plugging those in first and then just hoping that that one elective is during the hour that you have free, um, is saying taking the most important elective and then working the rest of your schedule around it. So that's not always possible either, but it's a lot more possible when you can share classes with uh, four sections instead of two. These classes will be able to enhance the student's education and help them in the future. When you put choices out there and kids are in study halls, they go, well, Mr. Walsh is taking away our study halls. And really, the reality is I'm not taking away the study halls. What I'm trying to do is show you that there's all kinds of opportunities and you really can't waste a study hall if you really don't need a study hall. The, and um, the reality of that is that most of our students really do not need a study hall. They want a study hall because there's less homework. But they can survive if they had to do a, an hour or half an hour of homework a night. They certainly can do that and should do that. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens. I think it'll be in a lot more classes. Reporting for the Jaguar Week in Review, I'm Billy Tenson. These mixed classes help combine students of similar interests, not ages. This will make learning easier for students in BBE. Lunch for today. First choice, meatball and gravy. Second choice, fish sandwich with cheese. Third choice, chicken Caesar salad. If you haven't signed up for your Connect today, you should probably do that now. Have a great day, BB.